Hey guys, you here, aka yeah, G Units, so today I'm going to be showcasing the uh, Albany Alpha. This is another one of these sports cars from the DLC. This is the final car that I'm going to be showcasing today. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's rev this up. Sounds similar to one of the cars in the game. Now, here's the thing a lot of you guys will think this car is absolutely crap. You'd expect it to be pretty shit with its performance and whatnot. But in fact, it is an, it's actually one of the fastest cars amongst the three that we have available from this DLC, believe it or not. Which you'll be surprised from one of the comparisons that I'll be making pretty soon. Probably tomorrow I'll be posting that. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is uh, just one of those casual sports cars, I suppose. Not casual, but it's a, it's a, it's a one of those weird looking ones that you wouldn't expect it to be a sports one when you first look at it. So uh, the handling is pretty awesome. You can tell already. Definitely driftable, that's a perfect drift right there. Let's go straight into the mod shop. I believe it's got a few customizable options, similar to the Turismo sort of options. Not too much, but at least some to uh, to uh, to uh, to add on to this car. You had a brain fart there. I know what I was saying. Just had a shower, so I'm looking fresh. About to hit the gym. I know it's a pretty weird thing to have a shower and then go straight after to the gym, but you know that's just the way I work. Anyway, let's go straight into this and see. What we got available for the Albany Alpha. I don't know about the combination of this cars, to be honest. The front looks way different. I mean, it's way off compared to the back. I don't know how, uh, where they got the inspiration from, but uh, definitely uh, a weird combination to have. Race brakes. Uh, I've got bumpers here. So got the custom front splitter. Engine. Exhaust. Got dual shotgun exhaust. Oh, we got the twin eclipse. Ellipse. Exhaust, sorry. Got the hood. The twin strip hood. Or the triple vent hood. Let's go with the triple vent. Oh yeah, apparently there's new horn sounds. Here we go. Classical horns. <laughs> okay. I know this one. Yeah, that's that's another one. Ah, oh, of course. That's awesome. All right. So the lights. And there's a couple of new animations as well. <laughs> and they're pretty funny as well, especially when you win a race. And when someone does that to you. Uh, let's go with this one. The yellow and black. Respray this real quick to... Uh, mm, orange. Secondary color. What the hell is secondary color for? Where the hell is the secondary color? Oh, for the bottom part of the car. Fair enough. I'll make that quickly. Uh, ice white. Whatever. All right. So we got uh, skirt. Spoiler. Okay. Got the GT wing as well. Let's go to GT wing. Holy shit. Suspension. Transmission. Turbo tuning rule that. And we've got the wheel. This is sports. So let's go with a nice little one. Um, see what we got. Let's go with this one, Super 5. That is fresh to death. Black. Custom, there we go. Purple tire smoke, just, just right of randomness. There we have it, the limo. And there you have it, folks. So, a few customizable options there, a few bumpers and spoilers and whatnot. Looking nice indeed. Let's wrap this up. Alrighty. Make a little wheel, real wheel spin. Take this for a little stunt jump ride. This looks nice. I don't, I don't like the rear of the car, it puts me off, but the front looks nice. Definitely with the vented hoods there. <laughs> Sorry car. Can I squeeze past? Yes I can. Can I jump over this? Nah. But definitely an absolute brilliant car for handling. Uh, response is pretty awesome as well at high speeds here. Yep, definitely is. I don't care if you stole your damn car, brother. Sister. I got shit to do here. Oh crap. But I believe I finished this campaign, or well, to finish the actual storyline with you being, uh, well, well, with you skipping all the uh, cutscenes for the missions, it takes you about, I'd say about 15 hours in total to finish the game. So about 59% if you skip the side missions and stuff and whatnot. So uh, that's what I did when I realized that data got deleted. So when I found out the DLC was coming out, I completely grinded out this game on campaign to do this in particular for testing the cars out as well as Franklin's ability because I love it especially for this particular jump coming up right here we're gonna see here we go 
Oh crap. This is it. Oh yes. We made it. To the top. Oh crap. It's a bit too far. Let's, let's try and control this. Try to land it perfectly. On the road. Wow. Not even a scratch. A little bit of sparks came out, but that's only on the bottom. Perfect. Perfect landing. Alright, let's go straight to the cargo shipment place. Do a little bit more testing with the handling. We already know the handling's amazing. A little bit of that drift right there. <laughs> oh, that sucked because I went onto the pavement, but. Can I squeeze through here? Yes, I can! Well, let me know what you guys think about this car. Because um, it's one of those, as I said, you'd, you'd be put off by it at first, but you'd definitely be surprised by its performance. It's pretty amazing. It's actually really good. Don't underrace this. Don't underestimate, sorry, this car. Because it's beautiful. I mean, it may not be beautiful from the back, but in the front, it's pretty nice. Oh, damn. Now, at first, you think, you know, at the first looks, now, when I first saw this car in the image before the DLC came out, I thought this would be a luxurious car. That's what I would think when I first saw it in the game as well, but then when you get into it, it will say it's a sports car, which you wouldn't expect that at first, as I already said. Also, another thing is, if you look at the side of the car, it's actually a really long car. And because of that, you know, yet again, you'd think it's not a sports car. So, but for it being a sports car, it's definitely a surprising thing for me, and it actually, I mean, it definitely does, oh wow, poor driving here. It definitely does respond like a sports car, so I'd give it that one. The performance is absolutely amazing. And it's one of those cars you don't expect it to be like this. So, uh, give me props for that. Albany Alpha. But now we're going to be going to the Super Test. My favourite place on GTA 5 for cars. Oh crap, look at this. Drifting already there. Drifting already there. Alrighty. Smooth, smooth. See, with this length of the car and the weight of the, weight of the car and just the general balance... It's so easy to just smoothly drift around corners with little or no effort whatsoever. I mean, we're trying our best to drift. Obviously, in this game, it's technically not called drifting, of course, we know that. But, uh, you know, they, they intentionally didn't do that in this game, unfortunately. I mean, there is a hack and a cheat and whatever, but I don't, I don't like doing that for cars in particular. Uh, you can, you know, you can try your best to do the drifting, obviously, with your handbrake and controlling it and whatnot. But well, mainly it's just power slides at the end of the day. Certain cars, it does look like you're drifting a lot. And uh, yes, I mean, technically, there are certain cars in the game you can drift with in real life. But in the game, they don't really have the mechanics for it. So, I, you know, in my videos, I try my best to drift. If that makes sense. But you're kind of forced into power slides mainly. But it's just like, it's one of those things that you can test yourself, how, how far can you push yourself around tight corners where you're just about to hit it, like that corner there where you think you're going to hit it but you're not, so it's really, really close. Those sort of things for me is really, really cool in this game, just the thing to do when you're really bored. And uh, just test yourself, like see for example there, I was too close and I crashed and you say to yourself, fuck, you know, like why'd I do that? So you'll try again and perfect it and this one where you can improve your driving I suppose, but this is what I do. anyway talking pointlessly here that's another perfect drift here so anyway this car is absolutely amazing for handling and definitely is competing against the uh jester for sure so i'll be making a comparison against the jester with this car so stay tuned for that tomorrow that should be definitely an interesting episode for a lot of you that probably will be surprised once you do find out certain things about this car uh so yes let's quickly go to the highway now and uh test this out get oncoming traffic it's a pretty long car, so it's going to be pretty difficult, I must say. This one sticks firmly onto the ground. And with quick response as well, so you literally won't lose control whatsoever. Alrighty. It is time. It is time. Let's go. Ooh, too, close. too close indeed, Franklin. I'm going to do something crazy. Let's go. This is something crazy. Don't try this at home, guys. Wait, let's do a quick U-turn. Ah, oh, fuck. That's, that's weird. Probably shouldn't have done that, but let's go. Oh my god, this gear shifting. 
I'm not done yet. This is it. This is where heroes are made. Can we do this? Oh shit. Probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Come on, we need to challenge ourselves. It's too easy. Let's go. Oh, this looks beautiful. I don't care. Strobe lighting effects, but who gives a shit? Let's go. Oh my goodness me. Oh! I killed it. I oh shit, I killed a child in that car. Nah, that's horrible. No, 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 no. Let's try one more time. That's fun. This is fun. Trust me, you may not think it's fun from just looking at this, but trust me, this is fun. When you feel that, when you feel cars go past you in this game, brothers, at very high speeds, and you know you're gonna crash them. Oh shit. Oh crap. Yes. Oh! Oh, that was close. Anyway, there you have it, guys. This is the Albany Alpha. Pretty awesome sports car. But it's uh, for the visuals, I'm not really appealed to it. I mean, attracted to it, sorry. It's not really appealing, sorry. And uh, it's one of those cars you'd think at first going to be pretty shit, but it's actually really good with performance and whatnot and handling and everything. So definitely try it out. It's the cheapest car amongst the three that's available from the DLC or multiplayer. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the cars in the comment section below. See you guys soon, Shaggy. Sign out. Good night, peace. Yeah! Hey guys, Shaggy here, right? Hey, hey, G. You know, welcome to another car showcase episode today. We're gonna be showcasing the Dinka Jester for this episode. The next episode's gonna be the Alpha. Kind of forgot the name.